Hi, this is Muhammad Akhan. In this video, we'll discuss endoscopic suturing of esophageal stent. In this case, we have a patient who have esophageal pleural fistula due to lung cancer, and it was covering with esophageal stent. He's doing very well, but recently he started to have increased cough. We noticed that his stent migrated down, so the plan is to try to move the stent up and fi fix it with a suture. Um, I'm trying right now to pull the stent up with Raptor and it's not working. So I am going to add a biopsy forceps to the other side and we're using dual channel endoscope and by having a Raptor with biopsy forceps at the same time, it is easier to maneuver the stent up without injuring the tissue or causing any problem. Once we advance the stent up to the desired length, we are going to start the suturing with overstitch device. Of course, for overstitch device, you will need a double channel endoscope. As we see here, we already preloaded uh, the suture over uh, the overstitch device, and we're going to use the needle now to penetrate through the stent and esophageal wall. It's very important to make sure that you are going uh, deep enough uh, within the uh, esophageal mucosa so that you have enough mucosa to hold the suture. And now we already uh, delivered the first uh, suture and we are dropping what we call the cinch. And that's called cinch, de cinch design which will allow us to tie the suture without um, the need for tying it. So what we release right now is a cinch and then right now we are going to deploy the suture because it's already going through the stent and the skin. And that's a one way of doing it. You just can do one simple suture, you go through the stent and the skin. And another way of doing that just to make sure that the stent is secure. We'll go to the other side of the stent and we'll do the same process again. We'll put the uh, needle within the stent and the esophageal mucosa. Once we are deep enough, now we have our suture. We'll go outside the stent maybe one centimeter above the stent and We'll do the same thing. Suture, make a suture here in the mucosa. So we're going from one side, we'll come from the other side. And then once we'll do that, we'll drop our suture to ensure that the stent in the plate. Although we would like to have it tight, we don't want it to be very tight because if it is very tight, you may have a problem later on with the mucosa ripped up or cut. So you want it tight, but to some extent. Thank you.